This is philosophy. I got maybe about, uh, what, 10? I'll start with this one, even though it's not in, in order, but uh, it's called The Play of Reason by uh, Linda Nicholson. Um, this is postmodernism, which is unfortunate, but you have to know what they're doing with, well, you have to know what they're doing. Uh, not a postmodernist. I think postmodernist Potter postmodernist stuff is a lot of nonsense. Um, it's based on nothing by definition, so it's very de-establishment and decentralized. I can't even call it information because it's a contradiction in terms. Um, but anyways, it's got stuff in here about history and women, morality. So. Feminism, foundationalism, all that kind of stuff. Certainty of knowledge, it, it will certainly attack, yet it will espouse certainty in that sense. So it's it's just nonsense, but you have to kind of see what they're doing. Um, I was recommended this book by a YouTuber, and I will get his name for you. This is called Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance by Robert M. Persick. And the, um, the subtitle is... An Inquiry into Values. Now, apparently this is actually quite a philosophical book, which it may seem odd. I do not believe this is actually a mechanical book on motorcycles. It's just a metaphor. Um, but it's supposed to be pretty good. Let me give you the guy's name, though, so you can look him up. He's got two videos on his bookshelves, and that's where I picked this, where I got the idea from. So the YouTuber is Hagsbo, H-A-G-G-S-B-O. So look up that YouTuber. He's got a couple videos on uh, his books. And he's got a lot of good stuff, so have a look at that. But anyways, pick this up. It's supposed to be a good one. Um, here is just a kind of a textbook on ethics, ethical theory, uh, classical and contemporary readings. And, oh, no, I guess this was in the book. I was going to say, um, this has just got the standard, uh, standard people in it. Um, I was going to say that I... I picked up a book on ethics by Rachel's, um, James Rachel's, I think. And he's he's not unknown, but he's not a big guy. He's not a big uh, philosopher, but he's not unknown, Rachel's. And um, he actually has in there Ayn Rand, uh, his, her position on egoism. So that's pretty interesting. You don't see that very often. I uh, picked this up recently. Um, I didn't know whether I had these essays, the self-reliance in these essays. I've got a book on Emerson, a big one, a penguin, I think, uh, like a big compilation, but I didn't know if I had this stuff. This is a Dover print, which are always nice. Um, so I got this just in case, just actually not too long ago. All right, here's another one of those Harvard, or was it Harvard? Oh, no, Britannica, great books. This is Hegel. I don't think, I don't know if I have anything on Hegel. I think I probably have one thing on Hegel. So I've got this now. Um, Hegel wrote on history. This is on philosophy of right and philosophy of history. And he's the guy who said that the whole is the true, but that's not really his idea. But that's what he kind of espoused. And here's another one of the Britannica. This is Montesquieu and Rousseau now. The reason why I got this is because I've been looking for for a while. Uh, Montesquieu's The Spirit of Laws. Haven't been able to find it. It's in here. So now I've got it. Also by Rousseau in here is The Origin of Inequality on Political Economy and the Social Contract. Already own those. But The Spirit of the Laws by Montesquieu is great. Two more modern ones. My supervisor just gave me this the other day, actually. Um, Freedom and Reason by Hare, H-A-R-E. I believe he is a philosophy of ed guy, um, but uh, this is great. It's written in the 60s, so I'd be glad to see that. There's a lot of misconceptions about what freedom is. There's all kinds of different views on, like, the Rousseauian wild child kind of freedom, so just or just license, really, license to do anything. The child, The child's running around, um, smiling and laughing and, you know, doing anything, then that's like the standard of freedom. But then you could take the Montessori view. I don't know if this is originally with Montessori, but this was with her position, that the child who is crazy is not, that's not a good thing. 
They are not purposeful. They are not intentional. They are erratic. They are not controlling themselves. And through education and through discipline in some respects, you can allow a child to better control their movements so that they can do things that they really want to do. There's another concept of freedom. So there's different ways of looking at freedom. Another idea is that we we can equivocate freedom, which is not a good thing, between the child having freedom to do whatever he wants and the freedom for an adult in society to do what he wants. That's an equivocation because we don't give that freedom to children. We protect them from harm. Um, we They are essentially subject peoples. They don't legally own themselves. They don't choose their family. They don't choose where they live. They have very little actual choice. Um, but to say that a child should have those choices is equating political freedom to the child, which is not going to happen. And so that's an equivocation. So sometimes you'll see that too in different people's philosophies. Um, so anyways, and here's the last one, which is actually a wonderful find. A.C. Grayling, Ideas That Matter, A Personal Guide for the 21st Century. Um, A.C. Grayling is a wonderful writer. Um, I've got one of his books, I guess. All I remember now is the cover. It's got like a white seashell on it. Um, but it was a book of essays. He also wrote The Good Book, which is an atheist Bible, which is actually really neat. It's written like a Bible, but it is purely secular. And I got it, I um, took it out from the library and looked through it, and it was really neat, but it's not worth $18 or whatever it is online. So I'm not going to buy it for that, but I found this one. So this is like a dictionary. This is an encyclopedia, alphabetical order of all kinds of ideas. Anywheres from, I'll just flip through some of them here, artificial intelligence, economics, communism, evolution, ethics, human rights, democracy, uh, humanism, love, philosophy, realism, religion, skepticism, socio sociobiology, yep. uh, truth, utopia, virtue ethics, war, uh, zeitgeist, there you go. And some of them, by the way, that I said that were out of alphabetical order, I just was flipping back and forth, so that wasn't a mistake. Okay, that's it for philosophy. Next will be, um, actually, I'll do politics. We'll do politics.